turn it down. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just clip that right off the beginning. So don't worry about that. Don't leave me alone. I don't want to do everything. Just do it, Jenny. You can handle it. <laughs> just go for it. She's got it. All right. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and get fired up here. We'll just clip off everything right up till about now. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Classic Car Auction Netcast Episode 2. We're excited today. We have uh, guests from Cave Creek Auctions, Johnny B. and Jenny B. The other things we'll be covering are Scottsdale auction dates and news, and a review of the Barrett Jackson Classic Car Auction app for Android. So we'll start right up since we have guests. Uh, I'd like to welcome Johnny B. and Jenny B. from Cave Creek Auctions. How are you? Oh, very good. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Things are good. I'm guessing it's warmer where you are. We're in Chicago. Oh, it's, it's cold. Beautiful out. It's, it's freezing here. It's 47. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's almost that warm here. So I guess uh, you're no better off. I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, not really. Hopefully it warms up for all the car auctions in January, I hope. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope so. So uh, tell us about uh, your auction you've got coming up. You're, uh, you, you're both with Cave Creek Auctions. And yeah. I know you, you don't just do classic car auctions, you do other kind of auctions, but I know you're gearing up for a classic car auction this March. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, it's, it's our first major event. Um, you know, we, we've been doing the regular auctions. We do estate items and fine art sales, and we kind of create events. And uh, we even do a Wild West Days uh, auction where we do all kinds of Wild West things. But, you know, cars are our passion. Now, Jenny and I love <laughs> cars. and. We've been working about three years to, to really dial this in and put this together, and we finally are, are ready to go. So we figured this is the year we're going to make it happen, so we're going for it. That's perfect. Perfect. That's uh, exciting stuff. I noticed that your uh, the location or the venue for the, the auction is uh, at, what is it called, Stagecoach? Stagecoach Village. Stagecoach yep. Village, that's right. So, yeah, you must have fun stuff that happens there. Oh, it, it's a great <laughs> facility, and it, it was almost like it was built for a car auction. I mean, uh, you know, we're starting off, you know, this first auction we anticipate we're going to have about 150, maybe 160 cars. Yeah. Um, but we have the capability if this thing, you know, starts to grow and uh, we can dial it in and actually it functions properly because <laughs> our first <laughs> event, you know, we're, we're always a little sure. nervous, I won't lie to you. But, uh, I mean, we've got the capability where we could eventually grow this to maybe four to 500 cars. And the, and the venue is just absolutely beautiful. It's at the heart of uh, Cape Creek, Arizona. It's about... It's about 25 minutes north of where all, you know, Barrett Jackson and Russo and Steel and all that's happening. So we're, we're in the Great. same neck of the woods. Okay, but, uh, so you know, you know, if people know how to get if people know how to get to uh, Scottsdale, they can find you then. No, if you take Scottsdale Road all the way north where it dead ends and take a left, you'll run right into our auction. So <laughs> easy, easy enough, even I could find it. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> no So dates on the auction are March 29th through 31st, is that right? Yeah, correct, correct. Uh, Friday's kind of a March 29th. It'll be a preview day. All the cars will be coming in and lining up. It's an outdoor event. Um, and, you know, we pray for good weather, but just in case, uh, you know, the backup date is the weekend after, so we can push everything if need be. Because um, we're, we're doing an outdoor live event, and it's, uh, you know, the cars are going to be driving right by you. We don't have to push them. You can start them, hear them, walk around them. Um, it's a real interactive auction. I mean, we don't set up an auction booth and sit up high. We're right down inside with nice. the crowd. And, yeah, nice. I mean, it's really interactive. And, and I have a lot of my drivers that actually own the cars that are going to be driving their own cars through the lane, too. So everybody's looking forward to that. Well, that's really cool because, yeah, I remember, you know, to, for people who, you know, there are different setups. I mean, like Russo and Steel has kind of an auction in the round, which is kind of neat. I mean, I remember back to the olden days where I'd go out to the county fairgrounds and, you know, like the, the Mecham Spring Classic before it got big and big and bigger and moved to some huge venue, you know, they'd be out there, you'd be at the county fairgrounds, you'd kind of walk up and, you know, they'd be pushing cars up there and, you know, there's the auctioneer sitting up high and you're kind of down in the pit. So it sounds like you have a different setup, kind of a neat setup to do this. Yeah, we do. And we've got a great venue and the, and the cars will be lined up. And actually, we're, we're, we actually came up with an idea. We might actually have because we have probably about 80 of the cars that are going to be in the auction. The drivers will obviously, and um, the owners will be on site. And we always anticipate, we like to have the drivers and the owners there because uh, we're, you know, we're in the market of putting sellers together with buyers. That's basically what we're doing here. And we want the sellers on site as well as the buyers. But we're probably going to stage all the cars, and we've got to talk with um, you know, a couple locations. And we may actually have a cruise on Thursday before the actual preview day. And uh, we can cruise these cars right up through Cape Creek. Uh, Cape Creek, I mean, every day, 
we look out our office and we go to our parking lot and there's always 57 Chevys and 69 Camaros and I mean you name it driving up the road. So I mean I get excited every day I look outside. So it's a cruise venue as it is. So we may put together a little bit of a cruise and have the uh, cars cruise in all at one time and then we stage them on that Thursday and then we're ready for preview day on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday we go for it. We start the auction. Awesome. Now, what will people be able to do remotely via the internet? I think you'll they'll be able to see what cars are consigned, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we we'll be putting up a preliminary catalog very soon. Um, we're we're gonna probably get the first uh, 40, 50 cars that we have signed up. We're gonna get those up on a catalog, and uh, there'll be a link via our website, kpreekauction.com, where you'll be able to go and you click on the link, and it'll take you right to the. Uh, to the catalog, and the catalog, I mean, we're going to have a lot of pictures. We're, we'll probably have 10, 12 pictures of each car, and uh, a little bit of, we're going to do some video uh, recording, and we're going to record some of the drivers and the owners talking about their cars, and we'll be posting those on our website, and you can link to them through YouTube also. So, uh, you know, it's more of a hands-on. We're, we're really trying to, since we only have about 150 cars, which is a lot of cars, but not compared to the Barrett-Jackson guys, but we're not trying to beat them. <laughs> No. Our cars that we're going for, we're, we're, we're trying to do the affordable cars. I mean, we want to bring in, I mean, we love sports cars and hot rods, and we've got everything from T-Buckets to uh, the Roush Racing Mustangs, but at the same token, we've got fixer-uppers, too. That's kind of our twist. We've mm -hmm. got cars that are, you know, halfway restored and need someone to take them to the next level, and uh, we've got a whole row of cars that we're bringing in that that's where they're going to be, and those cars could go as low as three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 each. I mean, it just depends what the market will bear. Sure. But, uh, the, we want a little something for everybody. That's kind of what we're, our goal is here in Cape Creek. We're not trying to be fancy and the super million dollar cars like Barrett Jackson. That's what yep. we're trying to do. We just want to be a little local hometown auction. Yeah. And we'd like to do maybe three of these a year. That's kind of our goal. And we already have a business in Cape Creek and we're stationary and we're here year round. So, you know, every once in a while in our regular auctions, we sell a classic car. So mm -hmm. it just seems fitting that we just put them all together in one day and just have a big old auction and have some fun. And you know, we're bringing a lot of vendors, and yep. it's going to have a Cape Creek is sort of a western old town, mining town, and it's got a real flair. It's a really unique town. So we're going to bring in uh, lots. When you come to Cape Creek to our auction, you're gonna it's going to feel like you're in Cape Creek. Some of the exhibitors we have and vendors and so forth. I mean, it, it's going to be a neat experience. Well, that's really cool. That uh, that sounds like a good destination for everybody. For those of us who uh, can't make it down there, it sounds like uh, we'll be able to see what's available online, and it sounds like online bidding would be available. Is that right? It, it will. It will. Online through auctionzip.com. Uh, through auctionzip.com, we put up a link, and it's, uh, we'll have the camera on, so it'll be just like you and I are speaking right now, and it'll be live Internet bidding. Um, to sign up to bid, there's a little bit of a process. You download some paperwork. Where we'll have all that stuff on the website pretty soon. We're putting up uh, the, the paperwork. And we're even looking for vendors, too. We have still have about maybe 25 vendor spots available. So if anybody in the local area here looking to be a vendor, you know, contact us through our website. But, um, yeah, we're just we're ready to rock and roll. And I've never been more excited about an auction in all my life. <laughs> that, so that's really awesome. Uh, what, what can people anticipate in terms of seller fees and buyer fees? Now, seller fees are, are, are pretty low. We're, uh, most seller fees fall in the 6% range. We, we charge a 6% commission if the car sells. Um, and then the buyers, they, they pay a 10% buyer's premium, so they add that to the price of the car. But uh, we keep it real reasonable. If you want to register your car, um, we're only charging $200 per car to actually register your car for the auction. And uh, for that $200, that, that gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, it gets you up on the Internet. It gets you up on our catalog. It gets you up in all our promotions. Yeah. Um, some of the cars that are even featured, we're even actually cutting a video right now when we're going to be uh, running some TV commercials here locally. And uh, some of the cars that we sign up, we're going to choose about five or ten of the prettiest ones that we think are the coolest, and uh, we're going to include them in our TV commercials. Oh, that's really yeah. cool, and I, I can tell you that that price point is not, you know, you can pay that to advertise in one of the national photo ad magazines. You can pay that just for the ad and maybe like an online link with a video. They're going to get a lot more, you know, bang for their buck with you guys on that. Yeah, so that's we're, we're, put, we're putting the car, you'll, your car will be seen by, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. Not to say that they'll all be at the auction at one time, yeah. but, I mean, the right people, I mean, our catalog will, will get a lot, a lot of hits online, and, uh, you know. Thank goodness for the internet. It can bring a lot of people from other states that can't make it. I mean, they can mm -hmm. sit and be part of it. They'll see it, feel it, hear it. I mean, they'll hear us yelling for bids on the floor, so it's going to be a lot nice. of fun. Well, that's yeah. really cool. Well, and as far as being open to the public, it sounds like you anticipate having folks in there. And uh, are there is there like a ticket price, or is it just generally open? 
Free admission. Come on down, view the cars. Because, you know, when you pull 150, 160 cars together, it's a pretty good car show. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. there's going to be a lot to look at. And uh, we're going to have a lot of, we'll probably have about 50 to 60 vendors set up, you know, vendors and exhibitors. And, uh, you know, it, it, I just, there's going to be so much fun. There'll be good food on site. I mean, we got some of the top, uh, you know, vendor uh, chef trucks that are in town that are going to be up there. And the food's going to be delicious. And everything's going to be affordable. I mean, that's our that's our our deal. We're not trying to, you know, make a ton of money off this. It's something that we really just want to keep going. And uh, we've got some charities that we have in mind that we're going to work with too. We're putting that together also. So hopefully, we can raise money and uh, you know for the charities and also get us something that we can. Uh, you know, we've got two boys, one's 16. He's got his driver's license coming, and he's uh, drooling over these cars that we're looking at. <laughs> So I may have to bid on one myself at the auction. I don't know. I'm gonna to have to pick him something up, and uh, and we got a 13 year old boy too. And, there you, know, you go. What we want to do is we want to create this this auction business. So some way down the future, you know, these guys can take it over. And it's their option that our kids can take this family business over and keep it running. So we're just trying to get something started. Well, that's really cool. Just now, are, now, are you going to buy Jenny anything nice at the auction, or just? Oh the my God! <laughs> there was a '60 T-Bird that signed Ooh. up yesterday. Oh my gosh, this car is absolutely gorgeous. It is awesome. Ugh. Red with a red and white interior, and she's tugging on me, honey, honey, you got to buy that. <laughs> it has that nice little rumble. Ugh. Oh, gorgeous! It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm sure she'll have lots of nice choices. So, yeah, all right. Thanks for putting that pressure on me. I appreciate that. Hey, <laughs> anything I can do to help. You know, Thank let, you. I, no problem, Jenny. Let me pop up on the screen real quick if I can do it right here. I'm going to put up uh, your website. Now, we'll have some graphics up when this thing is actually uh, kind of finalized, but I want to put up uh, the Cave Creek Auction website. Uh, for the folks that are listening, that's Cave Creek, C A V E C R E E K auction.com so if I'm doing this right uh, we should be seeing no oh, we aren't because uh, let's see hang on we'll get there we'll get there we're getting there all right now we've got the Cave Creek auction website up all right good very cool and that's all linked out from our classic car auctions TV website but here we go Cave Creek classic car auction so March 29th through 31st. I want to put you back up on the screen before we go, so we'll see if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> Very good. All You're right. good. Oh, there we go. All right, we've got this thing mastered. Well, Jenny and Johnny, Jenny B, Johnny B, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Oh, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for having us. I, I look know. Forward to Thank you very again. much. Great. All right, we're going to talk again going maybe the week or maybe two weeks before the auction, but do me a favor. Keep us posted, uh, and I'll try and keep an eye on your website, but as you get more stuff and get your feature cars picked out, we'll start putting those up uh, on our website so that uh, hopefully that helps some more folks know about you, okay? Oh, oh very thank cool. You. Thank you. And you can find us on Facebook, too, at uh, Cave Creek okay. Auctions and Events. So uh, we'll, we'll be Creek's putting auction. a lot of the cars as they come yeah. in. We'll put them up on Facebook, too. And All right, Kate. <laughs> Say that again. Oh, Jenny B and Johnny B. We have our fa own Facebook. Too. Well, you know, I saw Jenny's. I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> Jenny, <laughs> Jenny, Jenny does all kinds of fun stuff. Sometimes I wish I were Jenny. Though I will say, you're sitting in the funny car. And yes. You know, you see funny cars, and you think about it with top fuel dragsters, right? Because the engine's right out there, and you look, and it's a rail car. You can see everything that's going on. <laughs> But it, but you're you're aware because like the engine's right there. But the funny cars, you know, they're going 300 and some miles per hour. But the engine is concealed because you know the lid's down by the time we see the car out in the stands. Oh. So you're sitting there and you don't really think about it. But there's basically that same engine you see on a top fuel dragster sitting between your legs. So yeah. that's that. that that's I'm amazing. looking at that going, wow. So. Oh, all right. that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. So Jenny B. You have, has, have all the fun. i got to be behind the camera. <laughs> I know. I know. Somebody's got to work and pay the bills while Jenny's out being a celebrity. That's yeah, that. I got that's smoked that. out on Central, too. <laughs> yeah. We go, right. to, we go to various car events, and we cover them, and uh, we kind of we'll, 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 we'll share the information with you guys. Yeah. And you guys do a great job, and uh, you well, know, we love your website, and uh, you guys are doing a great job for getting the word out for these awesome car events. Well, please do that in uh, carshowsusa.com. We have car show stuff there that, you know, apart from the auction. So share that stuff with us. We'll make sure it gets up there, okay? We will do that. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. Thank Bye. you. See you later. Bye. All right, everybody. 
That's Jenny B and Johnny B from Cave Creek Auctions. Uh, be sure to check out their Spring Classic Car Auction, May 29th through 31st, 2013. All right, now we move into the next segment of the show. Uh, we don't really have any sorts of results from prior weeks, so let's launch off into what's happening in Scottsdale. We talked a little bit last week about it. We'll play through the dates here, and we'll talk about a couple of details from each of the shows so you know where to find them and what you can expect. Uh, first up, I think everybody would think of Barrett Jackson, Scottsdale Auction, January 13th through 20th. We've got that uh, in Scottsdale, obviously. The highlights in my notes on the show are, number one, that consignments are closed. They sold out a few weeks ago. So uh, if you wanted to sell there, I guess uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. You can still register to bid and obviously still go. Uh, secondly, one of the things they've identified is they have over 1,200 cars that are no reserve. So that's uh, hopefully some good opportunities to buy. Third, they are offering this year the largest collection of Shelby cars that they've ever offered at a Barrett Jackson auction. So that's kind of interesting, uh, including a 68 Shelby EXP 500 Green Hornet. So interesting car, and there were a whole set of them. I uh, don't have time to go through all of them, but uh, that was one of the interesting ones in the Shelby batch. Uh, fourth, they're having an automobilia auction. So if you're looking for the uh, gas station signs and pumps and uh, globes and signs and cool stuff to uh, decorate your your den, your classic car den, and that's uh, or your maybe your garage where you work on your cars, they have a lot of interesting stuff and a huge amount of it being authentic. So uh, the good news is there's a lot of stuff. The bad news is that stuff is sometimes kind of expensive, but. Uh, if you are looking for something, I'm sure that's the place to find it. And finally, the Bear Jackson auction will be broadcast on the Speed Network. So uh, 113, January 13, 9 p.m., uh, Speed will have the first look for the auction, and coverage again picks up on the 15th at 7 p.m., and those times are Eastern time. Uh, then we move into the Russo and Steel show, January 16th through 20th. Uh, they're anticipated, it's uh, also in Scottsdale, they're anticipating 700 cars, and uh, one of the interesting things with the Russo and Steel guys is they do a set of seminars, the kind of the mornings uh, going into the auction. I think there's a Thursday morning seminar on the kind of market and future market and classic cars. Uh, then there's a Friday morning seminar. This one's interesting. I think it's the first time they've done it on uh, collection management and estate planning. Now, Scrappy, our producer here, has a, uh, a Ford Pinto. Uh, collectible Ford Pinto, and I was going to ask him what he plans to do with that in the event of his untimely demise. God forbid, I'll never get this thing figured out if Scrappy's not here. But Scrappy, that Ford Pinto, can I count on you in, the, in your estate plan that I can have the Ford Pinto? Yes. yes he He's nodding yes. Okay, Ford Pinto for me. That's great. Uh, I'll put that with my uh, gremlin, and I'll have a good pair of cars there. So that's Russo and Steel. They've got those seminars, and I'm betting that if you give it a couple of weeks, even if you're not in Scottsdale, you can probably catch the seminars on Russo and Steel TV at their website. They put a lot of that stuff up there. It's really interesting. Uh, next up, we've got the RM Auctions, Automobiles of Arizona, at the Arizona Biltmore. Uh, that sounds like a nice place, right? Uh, that is in Phoenix, Arizona, so not too far from Scottsdale. And... Oh, I'm getting the, the Arizona Biltmore is nice. Scrappy says yes. Scrappy says you want to go to the Arizona Biltmore, folks. So, wow, I don't know why he's been there, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, they will have uh, live viewing via the Internet of the show starting at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on January 18th, the day of the show. And uh, a couple of the highlight cars that I picked out from that one were a 65 Ford GT40 and a 67 Shelby 427. So apparently Barrett-Jackson does not have all the Shelbys this year. Uh, let's see. Next up, we've got Gooding & Company Scottsdale Auction, January 18th and 19th at the Scottsdale Fashion Square in Scottsdale. And they've got some interesting feature cars. Now, unlike the Pinto that Scrappy is going to leave me, these cars are worth some money. We've got a 1935 Mercedes-Benz 500K Cabriolet. Scrappy, do you have a guess as to what that car is worth? Just take a guess. Let's say $1 million. A million, Scrappy guess is a million dollars. Uh, I'll give you a range. How about I give you a range? This will be like that range finder game on Price is Right. Uh, they've estimated a range they think it'll go for. What's your range? A million dollars at the low end, and what do you say at the top end? A million five. 
Scrappy says a million five. Uh, folks, I have uh, bad news if you're interested in that car. The range they're anticipating at uh, Gooding & Company is two and a half to three million dollars for that car. Uh, Scrappy, let's try this one. We have a 33 Duesenberg disappearing top convertible coupe. Uh, what do you think that might be worth? Scrappy? I would say Two. two. Scrappy says $2 million. That's uh, right uh, spot on for kind of the low-end guess on that car. And there's a 32 Alfa Romeo 6C 1750 Series 5 Grand Sport. I think I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable in there. A 1932 Alfa Romeo 6C 1750 Series 5 Grand Sport. Now, Scrappy, when I think of Alfa Romeos, I think of, you know, the... Uh, like small cars, right? Right? Or I think of maybe like the Quattros are a little bigger. But what do you, you know, this car is worth a million and a half dollars, they think. So I don't know, Scrappy, but we better see what's in the sack drawer if we want those cars uh, and see what we can dig up. We'll ask Mike. Maybe we can get a, uh, the company will buy one of us those for us, right? We'd look very styling. We could do the show from that Mercedes Benz. All right, then we've got the silver auctions, Fort McDowell, Arizona auction. Well, Scrappy, since you're a uh, Phoenix and Scottsdale area expert, do you know where Fort McDowell is? No, he doesn't. He's shaking his head no. I think it's up in the mountains, maybe 45 minutes or an hour outside of Scottsdale. Uh, January 18th through 19th, silver auctions will be there. We think of them being uh, up in the northwest, uh, Washington and Oregon and places like that. But they uh, find their way down south. Uh, it's a good time for it. It's warmer down there. Uh, it's at the Fort McDowell Resort Casino, so you can uh, place your bets while you're there. And the nice thing about all of Silver's auctions is they stream the ball live via their website. So that's that. The other thing happening, this shouldn't get lost in all of it, the Mecham Kissimmee, Florida auction, January 18th through 27th uh, at Osceola Heritage Park in Kissimmee. Now, they will have over 3,000 cars. So this is the real deal. They'll have uh, live streaming via Mecham's website. And again, this is all available at classiccarauctions.tv. And uh, if you go link from us to Meekum, you'll get to their website and you can check out the live stream. I do think you have to have a Meekum InfoNet subscription for that, but that is, I believe, free. So, And that also lets you see more of the auction results. So, And actually, maybe we'll try and talk to the Meekum folks about InfoNet. Uh, maybe we'll let them get on the other side of this auction and then uh, we'll bug them to tell us more about InfoNet and how that works. But uh, anyway, featured cars there include a 66 Shelby Cobra 427, more Shelbys. Uh, a 70 Hemi Cuda, all original, 12,000 miles. So nice cars there, too. Uh, that is going to be on Discovery's Velocity Network, if I didn't say that already. I think Velocity always broadcasts the Mecham auctions. So that's the uh, big news in Scottsdale. Now, rolling into February, we've got uh, RM Auctions, uh, the Bruce Weiner Microcar Museum Auction. Now, Scrappy, do you know anything about microcars? Would you like it? Now, I know the Pinto's small, but the microcars are smaller. They've got like 50 to 250 cc engines. So those are those itty-bitty ones. Like I think BMW made like an Isetta or was a spin off of theirs that is real itty-bitty. Anyway, maybe Scrappy, if you do a good job, we'll get you a microcar. Microcar. So we'll get you a microcar. We can't get you the Mercedes. So Feb February 15th through 16th, uh, that is in Madison, Georgia at the Bruce Weiner Microcar Museum. Uh, then, still down south, we've got uh, Fran and Rob Green's Verde Classics Museum Auction by Mecham. Boynton Beach, Florida. That is February 22nd and 23rd. Now, I believe they have normal size cars. Those are not micro cars at that museum. They're, I think, regular size cars. Maybe they have a micro car or two, but I think all the other ones are regular size cars from what I saw. Maybe even motorcycles. Regular size, though. Then we're off to the uh, next big one is Leaks Oklahoma City Car Auction, February 22nd, 23rd, Oklahoma City Fairgrounds in Oklahoma City. Photo deadline for that if you're watching this live or catch it this weekend, January 14th, 2013. So get your photos in if you want to be in the fancy book. And rounding out February, we've got McCormick's Palm Springs Collector Car Auction, number 54, February 22nd through 24th in Palm Springs, California. I called it auction number 52 last week. It's really auction number 54, but I still like how they name them. They just keep ratcheting up the number. That's uh, easy enough if I keep track of the right number. So this is number 54. 
Uh, then March or weekend in March, March 1st through 3rd, roughly. Uh, you've got March 1st, the classics at the Taj Mahal by G. Potter King. Um, not shockingly, located at the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. Then we're off to the Atlantic City Classic Car Show and Auction uh, at the Convention Center in Atlantic City. That is March 1st through 3rd. G. Potter King running both of those, both accepting consignments and bidder registration right now, right this instant. So that is the upcoming calendar. Uh, we will start rolling out once we get a little past Scottsdale. We'll start rolling out into further into March and a little further into the spring uh, on our calendar dates. But calendar is always available at ClassicCarAuctions.tv. That's that stuff. Uh, let's jump out real quick. We'll see if I can uh, work the magic with the screen share here. And we will move from the Cave Creek Auction website. Uh, always, here's our little auction calendar here at uh, ClassicCarAuctions.tv. So see that. It's, it's always right there. It's easy to read. doesn't take forever to download. Uh, pretty simple. But what I was really going after was the, here it is, screenshots. From the Barrett Jackson Auction app. Uh, this week we'll review the Barrett Jackson Auction application for the Android phone. I assume they have one for the iPhone. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. Scrappy, our uh, research department here, is checking that out. But the Barrett Jackson app, I will warn you, there is at least one, uh, I don't want to say imitator or fake in the market, but uh, there's at least one that is not seeming to me as the uh, uh, authentic Barrett-Jackson one. This one, I believe, is uh, registered by AVAI as the maker of the auction. Scrappy tells me there is one for the iPhone. So AVAI made this uh, made this one, and uh, there is a link from our ClassicCarAuctions.tv Google Plus page. So... If you go there, you can uh, link directly. It'll actually, there's a little link. If you have an Android phone, it'll let you install the app right from the, our Google Plus page, ClassicCarAuctions.tv. But taking a look at uh, the screenshots here, I'll kind of walk through what, of course, these are not in the order I'd want them in, but the only person whose fault that might be is mine, I think. So, all right, here we go. Uh, this app is appears to be the official Bear Jackson one. It uh, gives us some info on ticket pricing, on uh, basically the cars that are registered, on it gives kind of con rules and, and frequently asked questions for bidding and consignments. Uh, it gives you the ability to link out to your Facebook and maybe Twitter via you know kind of social media. You kind of hit the button and it lets you. I think it'll automatically kind of populate a uh, tweet or whatever, let people know you're at the Barrett Jackson auction. It has a couple of other features that might be relevant if you're on site at the auction. Um, but they've got a list of all the cars from Scottsdale. Um, my Observation is this, it's kind of cool, but on the flip side, there's a whole lot of cars. So uh, be warned, if you're not on a high-speed internet connection, this thing is going to take some time to download and it may jam the phone up. That's, you know, that's neither here nor there. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you could really break it into smaller chunks. They let you choose and narrow it by day at some point, but, you know, that's a lot of things to load in the phone all at once. But frankly, it's really nice. So you've got a picture and details on each of the cars. So that's exciting in the uh, the car number, so you know what order they're going through. But that's that. Uh, it gives you, they've got a scheduling link. Um, what's interesting about the scheduling link is it's got a couple of components. It's uh, got, and these are actually the ticket prices. I, don't, I didn't do a screenshot of the schedule link. Uh, it gives you the schedule for the current show, I believe, uh, is intended to. And scheduling for... The TV schedule. Scrappy, pull up on there. Scrappy's got this up on his iPhone. Pull up on there and see what you get for the TV schedule. Because when I pulled it up on the Android, I did not get the current TV schedule. I got, yeah, September. Their September auction. So red alert to Barrett Jackson and AVAI. You want to update that schedule. Uh, the calendar, though, I believe was correct for the Scottsdale show. So that is, in fact, yep, gives us the highlighted dates. So that's good. Um, that's that. But, you know, here you can get the ticket prices and a little screenshot there. And then here we've got the sitemap, which is actually really handy. The place is big enough. You'd, 
uh, possibly be wandering around trying to figure out where stuff is at. You've got the Barrett-Jackson site map if you've got the app downloaded. So it's free for both Android and iPhone. It would probably be really nice on an iPad or a like a Nexus 7 Android tablet. I bet that stuff would look great. A little, yeah, it's a lot of information to download to your phone if you're doing it via phone, uh, like the entire car list. The rest of the app works pretty well, but when you take the whole car list, it's a little, it's a pretty big chunk for the phone to bite off in terms of download time and processing. So with that caveat, though it actually it worked, it worked. You just got to be patient with it. Uh, with that caveat, I would say that uh, it's free if you're going to the auction. Certainly you'd want it, and even if you're sitting around the couch trying to figure out what's up on what days because uh, you're going to watch this thing on speed or wherever, I would check it out. Free download, so check that out. We've got That'll be in the show notes, but it's already we've got the links up on our Google Plus site or Google Plus page. So, all right, we will return the camera to me if I can do that. There we go, and... That about wraps up this uh, episode two of the Classic Car Auction Netcast. We are uh, thankful to having uh, for having Jenny B. and Johnny B. from Cave Creek Auctions on the Cave Creek Spring Classic Car Auction, March 29th through 30, 31st in Cave Creek, Arizona. Uh, you can check out cavecreekauctions.com or you can check out classiccarauctions.tv. Uh, and we'll have all the links there, uh, including in the show notes. But we've already got their show uh, linked up and their auctioneer posting up uh, kind of in the normal way like we have everything else. But next week, I anticipate we will start having uh, some further drill down on what's happening in Scottsdale. We will have a little more detailed look ahead to Mecham in Kissimmee. Uh, we may have some guests on talking about some of the stuff that's a little further down the pike, like uh, maybe even Oklahoma City and hopefully Atlantic City. We'd like to have those folks on. And uh, I'm guessing they're busy at home getting ready for their auctions while everyone else is in Scottsdale. So that might be a good time to talk with them. But we'd like to have them on. And I think that's about it. So uh, we would remind you that you can always take a look at what's happening at ClassicCarAuctions.tv as a Classic Car Auction calendar, all the auctioneer info, uh, current news that comes from uh, press releases from the various auctioneers. Um, has some other resources there on Classic Car Insurance, Classic Car Financing. So we'd like you to check that out. And also we've got CarShowsUSA.com. Uh, has free listings for your car shows, cruise events, car clubs, and swap meets. Uh, you can even put flyers up there. So if you want to put your registration form or car show flyer up there, we put those up there too for you for free. You don't have to register for anything, and we don't spam you with all kinds of mail or sell your name or anything. It all just goes right up there. And uh, we've been helping people out for years, and it's kind of neat. You do it long enough, you start to see the same shows over and over and over, and you're happy to see them successful and uh, also, that some of them are doing the shows for charity. That's really nice, too. So, And everybody is super nice. It's, it's a really neat community. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember, you can subscribe to the show. Uh, you can find the links there from ClassicCarAuctions.tv Netcast. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next Friday.